Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on EFT automation. Um, in this video, we will look at the reporter class. Uh, the reporter class is used to insert custom messages into your run results. And uh, you know what res run results are. So after you finish your run, system grabs you know all the all the information. It generates a report at the end. Uh, so with this reporter class you can insert custom messages into the run results so let's take a look at that let's start with reporter class reporter dot and then you have what two methods report event report note then you have you know three properties let's start with reporter report event report event is your reporting event into the run result so what kind of event it is is it a done event or a fail or pass a warning so you pick the type let's say it is fail put a comma then you can see that IntelliSense is helping you with the syntax it requires a report step name I'll just say report step name then it's asking for details details I'll say details and then it says optional image file path. We'll ignore that for a minute. So this is what I have. So let me run just this step. Uh, let me take a look at Canvas real quick. Action one, action two, great. And so we are in action two. So I'm gonna do run from this step. Uh, and that should uh, run from this step. That should run just the, the line three because that's the very last line. So it is done. Let me go to view last run results. So we had make fail. That's a, that's a fail step. Report step name. That's coming from here. Report step name and the details is here. So whatever you have it here, it shows up here. Just to prove that, let me do instead of make this time I'll do M I C pass. I'll say pass pass. Let me go ahead and run from this step again. So it looks like there is some syntax error. Uh, oh, there shouldn't. Oh yeah, I was missing missing a comma there run from this step view last round results so now you know this it shows green tick mark saying that it's passed so the status is passed details pass pass so we were able to successfully insert our own custom message into the run results so that's just a very simple example let's take a let me go ahead and delete this action two delete action two and I'll go here so here you go that's a syntax you know we we're talking about uh, report event report status step name details and the mesh path uh, so the make pass fail done warning so those are the report events here is an example here um, so these are just the print statements and then you know I have reporter name sorry reporter uh, report note what report note does is that it will insert a note into your uh, executive summary page of your run results we'll see that uh, we'll just put note this is a note add manual to the run results so run results so that is going to add a note and then I have four uh, report events one is done fail pass and warning and I have little step done fail pass warning so that I can easily recognize the step name and then I have corresponding message but for two of these you know I have an optional uh, value declared as well as an argument which is a path to the 
uh, image file uh, and uh, you can let's let, let let us pull that uh, syntax one more time report event put comma and you see that there image file path okay so let us go ahead and run this uh, step and we should see um, what four steps and then we should see this note let's go ahead and run the test it's done let's do a view run results expand all so we have uh, first of all note this is a note added manually to the run results that's here that came from uh, this line <coughs> reported dot uh, report note and then those four steps for report event done fail pass warning done fail pass warning so the other step names when it comes to description you can see custom message details done this would be fail pass and warning so that covers all these four steps of course we missed the image so where does the image go there are under here uh, view should be in the captured data I'm not getting here let me do a view reset layout and you see the capture data is here so we, we had that image for done and fail steps now we have for the done and fail we had image so whatever image file that uh, you know you define the path here whatever path you specify that image gets loaded into the uh, uh, run results so that's how you use it and there are a few other things you can you know play with it say for example uh, even though you have all these let's say you only want to capture uh, just the failed events you don't want to done pass warnings in your report or run results you can do that from here or there's a way to do it you can do filter and say you know you just all you want to do is filter you know look at uh, failed results so now all you see is fail however you know this is a uh, that's just a filter right on the report or run result you can do that but what if you only want to uh, capture the failed events and you don't want to capture dawn pass or warning that you can do that from directly from here in the report if you say reporter dot filter equal to and you uh, within the filter you have uh, you know few options there here in the comments if you say uh, um, by default you know report filter enable all that's a default setting whether you define or not and if you say disable nothing will go into your report and here if you say report error and warnings what you get is you know as it says you said you get both warnings or failed statuses and if it says enable errors only then it says only events with a failed status are displayed in the run result so this is exactly uh, you know there's a you know it's not like a it's kind of a little bit confusing when you initially look at it error warnings and error and you have done fail pass warning so it's not a one-to-one -one, uh, mapping here so let me take this errors only will only display the failed I'm gonna set that here so if I am saying that hey you know I'm setting a filter and I'm saying capture only the failed ones so now let me go ahead and run the test okay it's done let's take a look at the results view last one results expand so <clears throat> so it worked so all we have is a failed step so it only took this into the run results because we set the filter to say that enable error only the enable error only will only send the failed steps into the report and if you take a look at this filter you, you know even the past and the warnings are disabled so primarily it does not even send the past and the failed and warnings into the report so all it has is a failed uh, steps because we set it to RF uh, enable fail uh, error only you might want to play with these uh, you know other options and see what kind of uh, uh, report events are being passed into the report 
so that would cover that and uh, let me take a look at this reporter dot so we covered uh, filter event and note report path let's see the report path well let me do msg so message box uh, so this is a property of the report uh, meaning it will display you where the report is being stored so if you run to now let me do this instead of a message I'll just say print I'll say date Emerson Emerson so it should you know print me the date and then you know print this thing here let me clear the output screen so this would output the report path so that is where c colon users hp test hp you know app data local temp results that is where the results are sitting and why is it in the temp because when we you know run the test what we did is we picked the second radio button which is you know temporary run results folder that's a path so that is the exact path it is outputting here so you can retrieve the report path using this uh, using what here using this property so what else we got there reporter dot then we have status this will give you the status same thing as it says let us go there okay let us go ahead and uh, run the script so we have uh, you're printing the report path and report status uh, let's go ahead and run it okay let's see the output if you have date equal to oh I mean I really didn't want to put equal to I meant to peg you that so primarily it's giving the path and it says the run status is uh, one so what is one let's do this let's comment this line here failed and run the script again let's see what happens to the run status so now we got three so what is the difference so let me go here okay the event status you know we use the event status mic pass mic fail done warning here so what it is telling is you know if it is one look at one one is mic fail that means the test had failed so the test failed and we what I did was I commented out the fail line that means you know next is you know it was done pass and warning that means there was an event with the warning status so that's the reason why we are seeing number three here if I were to comment out all these lines these three then all I have is done so if I run it my the status should be all pass done so all done is two so we should see uh, number two here and then I'll also show you the results what it means when you see two there see two here so what does the two mean two means let's go to the run results look at here there is no error in this then there's no error there is no error and moreover we are not seeing any steps and there is a reason for that we set it to you know errors only that's the reason why we are not seeing this step if I were to delete this line so that I'm not doing any filtering if we run the script here I should see the run status as two number two is nothing but uh, make done which is pass if I go to view run results get the step done so what this means is when you look at you know, this will tell you the status of the report at that instance and here it is done and done means you know in numerical representation of that is two and that's the reason why you're getting this and you can add a little bit of logic here as well say for example uh, let me 
uncommon these lines let's say after fail let's say if you encounter a fail step you pretty much want to exit out of the uh, action or test what you could do is let's say at this point you want to check uh, the status and you check the status using what reporter dot run status you want to check if this is equal to make fail if this is make fail then what you we want to exit and how how do you exit an action simple you say exit action and that will exit and moreover you know you could let's say you can say print about to exit the action so if the status is fail by the time it hits the line 35 then it will exit you'll no more i mean the system will never go into 44 40 and 41 will not execute the rest of the script so let me go ahead and run the script and see what happens so it got into the diff condition and as you i don't know if you were able to observe that it pretty much was here and you know pretty much you know exited the action and how do you verify that simple go into view and run results last run results and you know expand this look at this step done step fail then it says step action replay it says run stopped by user we programmatically stopped the action and we said if the status is fail then exit so that's uh, that's how you know you can um, use the run status in real time you know depending on your application needs you know th this is how you can add your if logic as well okay well let's uh, I want to show you uh, another example using actual uh, script I mean this is you know, in the script there's no functionality it's not working with any application but I want to show you how we can uh, incorporate this into application testing and you know what I'll, I'll I'll show that to you in another video part two of this video okay and thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next